<clears throat> well, good afternoon, evening for me. Um, I'm looking at one more page here on 1123, and that is page R, question nine. And it says, here's a challenge. Don't you love the challenge problems? An unknown gas with a mass of 11.003 grams and a volume of 6.3630 liters has a pressure of 760 torr at 37 degrees Celsius. Find its molar mass. Now, <clears throat> I'm helping you out here a little bit. I'm not gonna solve this problem for you, but I'm gonna help you get started. Let me grab my black marker here. This is the formula that we want to use, okay? PV equals NRT, that was the new formula they gave us. It's called the uh, ideal gas law. So we need to read this problem, see if we can find the pressure. So I'm looking at it again, it has a pressure of, there it is, 760 torr. It has a volume of 6.363. And that is in liters, okay? And the temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. That means the one thing we don't know is the number of moles. <clears throat> so I could plug into this and solve for N. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But first of all, we need to, obviously this 0 0.0821, that number's a constant, it doesn't change. But we need to make sure that we have it in the correct units. And there's two things we need to adjust. We need to do a um, conversion. Do you know which two of those would be? You probably thought of temperature right away. Good, we gotta convert that to Kelvin. So I'm gonna let you do that. The other thing is for this um, R value to work, the pressure cannot be in Tor, it has to be in atmospheres, okay? Thankfully, this is a real easy conversion because 760 Tor is one atmosphere. And that has an infinite number of significant figures if you're concerned about that. So we, have, we can convert both of those numbers. Now let's take this formula and solve for N. If we divide both sides by RT, Okay, then we'll have the formula N equals PV over RT. And then it's just a matter of taking these numbers and the temperature and this value and solve. You're going to get a decimal number. All right, now let's go over here and look at <coughs> figuring out molar mass, because that is the actual question. It says find its molar mass. Okay, so first we have to find the number of moles, which is what this formula will give us. And then that's gonna come over here and plug into our magic triangle. Number of moles, and then the mass in this case was given 11.003. And so we can divide by the number of moles, and that will give us the grams per mole, or what we call the molar mass. Okay. So now that we've kind of helped you set this up, hopefully you can uh, plug in the numbers, crunch the numbers with your calculator, and uh, come up with, this is what you're looking for, grams per mole. That's just another way of saying molar mass. <laughs> 